Every single effective renewal movement in the church's history has begun with the poor. And that's why it's so vital that evangelism on our outer estates lies at the heart of the Church of England's renewal and reform programme. I spent a great deal of my ministry working on outer estates and I love being there. But we have to accept that for many estates residents and for the churches they serve, life at the moment can be hard. So it's vital that we commit ourselves afresh to proclaiming the hope of the gospel in new and bold and innovative ways on those areas and find the resources that we need to do that. Why does this matter so much? It matters because of Jesus. In Luke chapter 4, Jesus said, I've become, come to proclaim good news to the poor. He began in the margins and from there he transformed the world. If we want to make a difference in renewing the church in our own day, we need to do what he did. Moreover, the estates form a kind of hard testing ground where new approaches to evangelism can be tried out and experimented. If you can lead a church into growth on an estate, I would say you can lead a church into growth anywhere. If you can develop a new resource for evangelism or discipleship on an estate, I'd say you developed a resource that can be used anywhere. So we need a fresh generation of lay and ordained leaders committed to the estates. We need to be bold in finding the resources to commit ourselves afresh to ministry in those areas and developing the resources which will and the approaches which will enable effective ministry. A church that abandons the poor abandons God. It's as simple as that. When we're effective in being a Christian presence amongst our poorest people, that's when we gain the authority and the right to proclaim the gospel anywhere. So yes, let's renew the church in our own day, but let's begin with our poorest.